Lady Paper Moon is back and I am doing the second strip which is for the lamp. I will put some photos here. So this part so far is more or less done. Yeah. If you're not sure if you stitched all down well enough, then you can always check on the back. You can see like uh for instance here is no stitching. So let's see here is there yeah and it's a little fluffy because it's all different strength and qualities of cloth and fabrics this old coffee tight handkerchief is very very thin so brittle so thin then the lace is quite firm this is a wool quality from an old scarf but it's soft, it's kind of thick, but it's still um, very flexible, very, yeah, soft. So, and then we can check if everything is down well. If you say like this you don't like, take the tweezers to show you, oops, here, like it's all very loose. You can always go and put some invisible stitches like this one. This is stitches that is on the top. You make the smallest possible stitch just to grab a little bit of the cloth. And on the back, the stitches are very long. But we don't mind that. And here I put fringe knots. I finally learned the difference between fringe knot and colonial knot. Yeah, I'll show you later. And he could do the same. If you think, say that this fluffy is too rustic and too uneven, then first of all, it would be good to iron your scraps before using them. I don't do that because I like the, I like this more, the, the rough look, right? And um, here, further there, I started, I couldn't resist to put the flower in the middle here, the French knots, and I started along the black lines, I started some pink embroidery, and um, this lace is completely on, in two different colors of floss, I put pink and white, then this is all still missing, you can see the pins, this one I stitched on, see I stitched on pretty well because um, stitching on the top part means at the same time this piece gets stitched down a bit this one here all along so it's already f fixed here it cannot move anymore the Taj Mahal is also stitched on a little and this one also is stitched on. So I put the top layer. Everything is still loose and I just put down the top embellishment. And so automatically all the neighbor cloths will be stitched on also. Yeah. And here is missing a lot. This is all still loose. It can be rearranged. This is a little crooked. We can still think how we want to do it. And before I start stitching here, I thought for those who haven't seen, 
the first part of the lamp shape shape shade the enlightenment project follow me on facebook or lady paper moon on facebook then you have more actual updates from my everyday work i'm trying to think to post little progresses and all the different kind of stuff i'm doing and i know you maybe you remember i think you remember that we made a little bowl out of scraps out of cuddles and um, you know what we normally throw away we don't anymore and I put it even a little higher not only doing like for instance this cat just take a sh simple shape and draw it down or trace the form and the shape and then you put all your bits and rests and pieces and then you do a lot of stitches but no need to be neat so these stitches they just serve to put the fibers down 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 so you can go like in a row slowly coming up the only thing you have to think is that when you come to the edges and I did a zigzag machine stitch all around this is why this is still hanging here as soon as you grab all the fibers let me see again where is it because they be, they are all over the place first like this so you form them with your hands and with your fingers where you need them and then you stitch down and if nothing stays over like this and it all comes like so your form is getting very clean and recognizable and I used um, a red fabric underneath here and some underlining here somebody was saying uh, on a group I mean I posted the picture she said is this supposed to be a goth because she's she looks like she's bleeding I said oh my gosh is she bleeding no this is black blank threads and leftovers but since she said it I'm really thinking about we can always add we can always add more fibers to this and now and here see also rest 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 I did this like a like a little joke just something funny weekly stitch craft report due every Sunday some people they took it in the group there they took it uh, seriously and they said oh there's no way i can stitch so much that i have so much leftovers in a day and i say ladies this is just like funny this is just another little thing you can make one of these for your stitch books or it makes a cool lampshade also if you put it against the light and the fibers and the light that shines through it's awesome back looks like that um so and i just did this with some stamps which i don't remember where they are from but i think from action but just put in in google or in in, in the internet you will find um days of the week stamps and you will have even more beautiful than these and here i paint i draw a little needle and this is a stamp a washi washi tape stamp oh these washies they're getting older and older and i back then i had to had all the washies i could get a hold on and now i i'm not buying anymore so because they're getting old you know you can do something like this 
you can turn this also into a needle book like so whatever shape whatever size it doesn't matter this one happens to be hold on uh, okay i turned the thing in centimeters it's like 16 here and about 28 centimeters wide but any size right and now when we do this there's nothing left to there's no more leftovers if we do this we use up everything and we just stitch it down here and done but if you have even more small stuff like stuff like this and you don't feel like stitching it on in that fashion then i got something new what you can use I'll show you these are little glass bowls see they're not plastic they're glass they come in two sizes this is the big one this is the small one they also come with a lid and the lid has a hook on it so you can hang it you can make like earrings or embellishments or book jewelry all the good stuff and i did some yesterday in here i put only cloth which i cut very in very small strips here's a mixture of everything Now, the only question now that I have, which glue, if anybody knows, please tell me, which glue can we use for this? Because I used, this is for rhinestones, basically for um, plastic to paper or maybe plastic to cloth, I don't know, but... I don't know it took so long to dry and yesterday I they were not no oh yeah they hold now they hold better so that dried overnight and look how cute and we can hang them everywhere so now there is no more rubbish on with this way or this way or did I show you? I showed you, but maybe some didn't see. Hold on, if I can get this here. This little heart. Here, all the, the cutoffs and leftovers are not... They are not sewn down. I just laid them flat, like distributed them evenly. And then I put the, the pink tool over and stitch around first with machine and then uh, running stitch by hand right and then I put a little embellishment and in here is my embroidery stuff and yes what else oh yes a little treat for those who haven't seen on Facebook look now isn't this everything I'm so in love with this. I love stitching scissors. I don't know. It's just like I'm obsessed. I have this one. And you know already. This one. With another sewing machine charm. And I have another one. Which now is not here. But you know with the bird. I don't I don't see it right now it doesn't matter so thing is this one is very pretty and it's not expensive I think I paid like was it maybe nine euros or 12 at the most I don't know and they are stitching scissors they cost like 150 euros and more it cuts very good 
all of these cut very good hold on i have to look where the other one is it doesn't leave me alone now found it it's here to be honest this one is is beautiful and as it it cuts super well but they all all cut super well but this one is not nice to use to be honest because if you go here then these little bits of which make them so beautiful really but they are like not nice to the touch it it disturbs a little bit to me i mean if you just hold them like this really fine oops you can use them and if you only cut your thread every now and then while you're stitching perfect but if you have to do a lot of uh, cutting and snipping off with these they are or else maybe i have to get used to that first i don't know so I, I prefer those two for when i need to use a lot so was there something else i don't know i don't think so ah yes the little cloth is here ah. these you find on the internet and I didn't throw away the little paper so you can see Oops. and be careful because they are out of glass they are not likely to break easily but if they fall down I think they will break this is the brand Panda Hall Elite doesn't sound good at all to me but it's the company name I don't know what this has to do but okay so there's this and now hold on I get that out I ordered 60 pieces of all kind of cloth it's very thin which I like it's 100% cotton. I already started dyeing some of the pieces and they are gorgeous. Because every little now and then when we do our snippet roll or our bigger pieces in patchworking cloth or for the art journals when we mix with um, paper, they make beautiful pockets and collages and quilts I will do a lock cabin stitchery soon I feel so much doing this so see there's all sorts really nice very thin as I said ideal for art journals cute it's the patterns are more traditional sweet patterns it's not really like a boho style or indian style or arabic or whatever not very artsy but really nice so that's what I have new and now it's time to go on with the stitching. So I threaded my needle and I thought I'd take you along. I did a little running stitch. I do mostly running stitches to bring um, the cloth down. I went down here. Now we keep going. If you don't like all these pins here that are sticking everywhere still, which I do not like them all too much because I get hooked up quite a lot, um, then you could glue this down with like a stick, a glue stick just lightly glue it down 
let it dry and then stitch so everything will lay more flat let's adjust this one let's overlap a bit hmm. so the white is my calico this is all overlapping already quite a lot so maybe let's trim this down like so and put it maybe over this seam I would like to pin it, um, pin it put it like so maybe so and underneath here like so yes so we can stitch this piece along let me see about the light maybe better like this my lighting is always not very professional I know but you can see I guess all that's important because this house is very old and the windows are small and it's quite cozy inside always and I'm sitting in the salon right now or as you say living room by the fire oh all winter time and in the summer this room is hardly ever used because we're always outside here in Istria in Croatia It's interesting when we go along, especially if you're a tactile person, how different the cloth feels, the different qualities. Like this is so hard to stitch through, even though it's so thin. This kind of organza with the gold stuff on it. And then there's other bits and pieces that go like butter so smoothly and nice but we make it I did a lot of coffee dyeing also last couple of days fabrics and paper I found a new paper which I show you later which it says is for markers and it's not bleeding through and I tried it out and yes it's not bleeding through and I coffee dyed some of it to use in the art channels I have also quite some covers left um, ready-made covers for art journals which I really, really have to put inserts and signatures. But stay with me on the channel and poco a poco. I decided now with the reddish brown rusty color thread, I will keep going over this organza piece. Here I don't have to because this is all stitched down very well. I could do a last little bitty stitch on here to knock it down. But I decided not to go around the image because it's too prominent here. It's sticking out so much contrast here. I think I will take a white or brownish, maybe even a greenish. But not this color so we stay here with it oh this is so hard to go through here not nice let's work and so here we'll grab this 
piece here of the lace If you're on a touch screen, you can, with the two fingers, you can make your screen bigger if you don't see enough what I'm doing here. So, now this is on there. That means it's on not up here, but all over here. There, there, here, underneath here totally. So let's put the pins out put it right there because this will be one of the next pieces I will stitch down and this can go or maybe we put it this must be arranged newly again so, put it here to hold that a little better and just go like this or like that. Just be careful with the pins. So what's missing? This whole piece is missing to be stitched down. The red one also. Ah, oh, look over here. See? This? It's another filling for our little glass bowls or for our scrap usage and cut off usage. So this goes like here and I will where's the thread now? Oh it's all the way up here and I want to work down there. So what I do turn it around and since this is sandwiched, I just go in the first layer of the calico and bring the yarn down. Here I didn't do that. Then you have these long bits. Also here. But it doesn't matter. Normally this gets covered up anyway. Once you're done with your whole piece, you can sew with the machine or by hand also. You can sew some nice fabric, like, hold on, take one of the new ones, just to show you, you would just back it up, like so, and it'd be very beautiful from the back side, yeah. I think I'm not going to do this, maybe, but I have to try, because this is going under is going as a lampshade right so the light will shine through i will try to show you i don't know if it's working if i take my phone and put the light on and i bring it underneath you don't see much i switch off this light so, this is the effect I want. So that you see through. And if I put too much backing up, then I might cover the work too, too strongly. Uh, maybe not. Let's try. Where is the piece? Here. So let's just say we take this as a backup because then the light, the, the lamp shade would be nicer. It's still working. Yeah, because this is so thin, this material. Yes, I could do that because I thought I cannot to not keep the light from shining through. Let me just switch off this. Um, and then the inside of the lamp would really look like this everywhere. It's not so nice. 
especially in this case because I was handling this piece of cloth whilst others were in the coffee dye and some of the coffee spilled. I don't know if you see this, but it it would definitely be nicer like so. Yeah, I would do that. Cool that we found out together. So now where's the needle? Where's the needle? Where is it? Hmm, here. So I brought this down a bit. And that means we can go and stitch this down here. And if you have a plain little section like this now, you can think about doing some decorative stitch since you have the needle and the thread anyway, right here. Why not do a decorative stitch, like a feather stitch or any other, you know. There's so many videos out, so many lovely ladies doing stitching and explaining. Yeah, let's do some feather stitch. So I go bring the needle out here and I go right next to it. I don't pull all the way through. I go in the middle of the two stitches but further down. Like more or less. I don't I don't like so neatly. So then you go on the same height there. If this was more contrasty, you could see better. And then you go here and push down. Then again on, on the same height here out. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> that was wrong. Now see. Let me see. We have to thread again. And every time I tie a knot or thread the needle, I take a deep breath and I watch my posture not to hang in there too much because it's very bad for the back and the neck. So now this is too much out, further out. So down here from the down part. Damn what I'm doing today. <laughs> like so. Now that's not so pretty. And then here again. Out again. And this way of what we're doing now, this lampshade, this is also so nice for postcards or journal cards which go in your art journal or junk journal or to frame it for on the wall. This gets like twisted very easily and it's using all the scraps. And it's not only using the scraps, it's just so beautiful that we really, we do make scraps for it. If we have bigger pieces of cloth and fabrics, we just cut them down. So like this. Now we have a little decor. And since I'm here now, let's put this piece down. And again, I will just go with some simple running stitch now to turn around. pin out. Just put it there for a minute. Ah, here it's not on. Okay. 
So every time we have one of these pieces and we're done and finished and then if we really have a closer look we find out that there is still um, some sections that are not stitched down properly and so we take care of them and never rush just be in the moment be still and thankful that you can do what you're doing because if I think about so many people they would love to do it but their hands would not allow because they have some pain in their hands oh they're very old when I think about my grandmother when she got really old she couldn't do nothing nothing none of these things so I'm grateful to be able to do what I love And again here, don't seek perfection too much, there's no need. So now the thread is getting really short. I'm going to do a couple of stitches in the back. And just let it disappear in between the layers. Mm, yummy. So where are we now? We are down here. This unravels even more and more and more, which is nice. The more it does, the more I like it. And um, I should have some more embroidery. Floats prepare. Yeah, here it is. This happens so much, especially if I divide the strains of the embroidery floss. So this is, I don't know, can, can I handle it? Yeah. But if you have yarn, knitting yarn or for, from crocheting, any yarn which is making too much trouble and too many knots and stuff, don't spend hours unraveling the the knots and stuff. Just cut it down and use it here. And there. Just a little reminder. So what's next now? I make my knot. And We have this down. Maybe some more running stitches on here. Now where's the needle? Here. Oh, today is not going well here. I don't know. Now it is. Okay. So. A little sashiko stitching here. The other day I saw a girl, she showed how in the old days in Japan they made clothes, kitchen clothes for cleaning the surface or cleaning the dishes. And they do it out of old rests of clothing or any cloth and fabric that comes in the household which is not needed, maybe a bedspread which is torn or got holes and stuff and she cut like little squares 
maybe 15 by 15 or 20 by 20 centimeters and she did the sashiko stitching which holds everything together so nicely and it's such a simple running stitch only and so she was more or less quilting the the cloth to have a dishcloth and it goes in the washing machine and it gets reused and loved over quite some time and it's a really good idea I will definitely try I wonder if we can only also use like t-shirt fabrics and the elastic fabrics of nowadays clothings I will give it a try but we're having so many projects now here on the channel I have so much to do and some of you know I'm not doing the typical like tutorials well, let's go all the way out this time I'm more just taking you along since I'm working as a full-time artist I am working many hours every day in the studio or here in the winter by the fire and currently I'm stitching I don't know between five and seven hours I think or seven hours no but five hours a day I think I'm stitching at the moment and every little now and then when it suits then eh, this is so hard to stitch through then I take you along and we just hang together and that's quite fun what about here shall I stitch here I don't think so huh? no I don't I don't want to so we have quite some yarn left and I have to see now if there is nearby any spot that needs some more stitching maybe here before you stitch make sure you don't have another idea later of putting like just an example now more lace because then the stitchery you do now is not seen anymore I did some stamping also on coffee dyed cloth <clears throat> this could go somewhere here maybe there the little butterfly I have to check let's see If you don't like these torn edges you don't have to use them uh-huh this is not going Let's see now it's ruined more or less ruined I can still put that down somewhere on a paper in the art channel but that's quite a big piece now let me see yeah it's too big for here we use this on some other occasion okay so here's the sashiko stitching then i go here and i try to bring the needle or better said the yarn the floss here up here somewhere and come out here and do my knots take the needle I go four times make sure you hold that little tail a little tense then you go through with the needle and as you pull you'll have your knot
there's a lot of people that find that quite complicated but it's not just hold your yarn your floss take the needle and wrap it around two times three times four times doesn't really matter and then come very close to, very close to this point but don't use the same hole that you came out go and here not too tense because then you pull the loops too tight and the needle won't pass another knot so this looks nice and it helps to lock on place one in here is funny and this way you can make really thick ones but also very thin tiny ones when you just go I'll show you if you just go once let me see maybe here and don't pull too tight because if you pull too tight see what happens you want it nice and even here so slight tension but al almost none now I wrapped only once and we have a tiny tiny knot here so let's do a couple more here maybe like so maybe you hear one this is using up a lot of floss because you go in big steps on the back see what's that oh, anything something so I'll take three, three now and you can also do some embroidery on pieces like here these open spaces one more here no here no here okay there's the good stuff about the fabric and the cloth material textile because in paper you cannot do it because you have every time you have a fat hole in there like so yes and now what's left there to do this strip up here must be so down rest of the flower must be sewn down here we could do some knots again or something maybe or do we have enough to make just at least one up here just turn again so we have to come up here and go in here and bring the yarn I hmm. that happens to me a lot but thready needle means deep breath and good posture again so it's still a bit to go a little bit further like here maybe now I have not much left but for one French knot it will do Could put this piece in a hoop if you wanted to no problem at all especially when I have to mount this piece on the lamp shade I will um, hand sew it on there 
on the metal skeleton and then it will get stretched and stuff so even if the hoop leaves marks it wouldn't matter they would be stretched out again all right so i think i keep going stitching while by myself not to bore you Ah, oh, here is a needle so as i said here is some missing i started with the white i'll have to go here okay this little bit we can leave that needs no stitching then what about here maybe rearranging a little bit or Now, well, more or less, it's not bad. Because if there are now spaces that you think maybe you don't like a spot like here, when they all meet but cut edges and maybe you don't like so much, then here you can always put an embellishment or sew on an old earring or from broken jewelry or do some beading or put another another piece of cloth on top or out of this you could make a little flower and stick it on here you know but what you have pinned down for the moment, make sure you, you stitch it down and then you take your time, nice cup of tea and really contemplate over your piece, look at it, get some different materials and try out how would it look if I put like another strip here, like so, smaller. Maybe like so, no, <laughs> or this, this is nice, could go maybe up here, yeah, why not, uh-huh, Zoe, here is pins, okay, baby, here is pins, you can hurt, you should go down, yeah, okay, I take care of, okay, she... She lay down for sleep now. Okay, babies. So, I push pause now on the camera. I keep going for a little while. And see you later.